Welcome back to another episode of Whoa Whoa Chill dude Chill, whatever you want No No, please Welcome to After Hours. Welcome back to After Hours, guys. Dark Matter, Season 1, 9 episodes. We are finally at the end. A great episode overall. Very, very big fan of just the world that was built uh, in re- in regards to the multiverse. And the last episode was so good. I'm going to keep this short, sweet, to the point. This final episode was a great way to close it because most of the time it was spent where Jason 2, Jason 1, I guess, this is the original Jason. Charlie decides where to go. It's this house that I guess he's been to a few times. I think it was the girl he was talking to. I honestly couldn't pick up on that one. But they go to this place, and the whole episode is them that Daniela realizing like this is the Jason that I want. This is the the one that I, I know to be the one that I love, and it's her falling back in love with him. You kind of see their love story blossom a little bit in this one, but as it progresses, it gets about halfway through the episode, and he notices that there is a message in his in his mailbox. This message was for all of the Jasons and they have created a chat room space where they're all, you know, Jason one, Jason two, Jason three. They're all in this universe trying to get their family, Danielle and Charlie back. And they're just communicating like, how are we going to do this? Where are they? They're trying to find them. And and you just see the different sides of Jason. Like if he were to have his life go one way or the other, this is how he would turn out to be. So that was super cool. They end up going through, they wanted to do a rally, a raffle, so they just wanted to draw for who gets the family. Anyways, long story short, Danielle ends up seeing that, and she just is with Jason one that night and is like, I don't care what happens to us or what we do, I want you. I want you to be with us, and that's that's what I want. So as all this is happening that night, Jason sees the other Jasons have found them at the property. They found them because there was a tracker in the car one of the Jasons got a hold of. It is a battle on on the land, like just Jasons killing Jasons everywhere. Finally, Jason 1 is trying to get both family to get their stuff so they can get out. And another Jason comes in, wrestles the Jason 1, and then the Jason that initiated that fight, the not real Jason, gets shot in the head by Jason 2. The guy that started this entire thing. Jason 2 looks at him, at Danielle and Charlie, and uh, basically says, I am not here to stop you. I'm here to help. Gets them in the car. They get in the car, hit the road. They think they get away. Charlie's in the back seat, sees that the other Jason left something there for him. That was the vials to be able to use the box and a phone with a voice memo on it. In that voice memo, he's talking about, it wasn't really him wanting Jason's life or Dan- or Daniela essentially what he realized he wanted was he was envious that Jason created this world because of his ability to be selfless and allow himself to love others and allow space for others to grow and 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 nurture that relationship and that's what he wanted all along so the ultimate sacrifice was this Jason who started the whole thing to be able to give them the ability to get away and not have to live in fear so they head back to the box. They're at the box. As soon as they walk up to the box, a hundred Jasons are there, all waiting for them. They see them. They're, you can feel the the sadness in those other Jasons because it is technically Jason. I mean, it is the multiverse of the multiverse of Jasons. So it is him, just from the moment of the box and previous all the memories there. But it's like Inception of multiverse, kind of wild. They're all there because they want to help her, help them get there because that's another ultimate sacrifice. And that's Jason's had it in them all along. As you can see, all of the Jasons are very upset that it's not them, but they know it's best for what for Daniela and Charlie. And they all care about Daniela and Charlie. They go in into the box, and it looks like they're headed to the universe where the other two were dropped off, the, the nice pretty lights Chicago area. And that's the it. That's the end of the series. So overall, 
I mean, if you're going IMD ra- ratings for me, I would give it an 8.1 out of 10. Uh, definitely probably in the top five of, of my favorite just first season series that I've watched purely because of the concept and just where they went with it and hopefully there's another season we'll see where they go next hope you love the intro those have been fun to make um, and yeah other than that please like and subscribe go watch dark matter on apple tv and never forget I love you I'm proud of you Peace.